This is a quick review for the BenQ Screenbar E Reading Lamp. It's easy to set up, easy to use, with a nice even distribution of light and a great space saver. Hello, I'm Grant Abbott and I'm going to review the BenQ Reading Lamp. Actually, I'm going to review the BenQ Screenbar E Reading Lamp. So I was very excited when uh, BenQ got in contact with me. I thought, excellent. Uh, send me some free stuff. If you've got any free stuff, I'm your man. Brilliant. And they sent me a reading light. Now don't get me wrong, I do love some free stuff. It makes me feel important. It makes me feel like I've made it. It gives me a real sense of achievement in my life. But a reading lamp? Anyway, here's my review. Uh, I actually really like it. I think it's really great. Uh, I will always give an honest review. But it's a reading lamp, uh, so it's something I really wouldn't go out and buy normally because I'd turn the light on. But I suppose if, if you haven't got much space on your desk, I think maybe that's the thinking uh, for a lamp, and maybe you're in a corner somewhere where the light doesn't reach. I suppose, uh, to, to be fair, uh, you might want something to light up your desk more. I'm finding, though, that it's just highlighting how dusty my keyboard is. but. If I were to perhaps be drawing here, uh, and I had a reference image on my screen, so I'm drawing on my desk, then uh, I would turn on the reading lamp. So I, I may well actually use this reading lamp. Uh, but it's 80 quid, so it's quite a lot, uh, I think. I suppose lots of lamps are 80 quid, uh, and this one is no different from them, but I'd rather spend my money on something else, personally. Taking a closer look, it's really nice. It's got these cool sort of sensors instead of buttons and you can turn it on and off and you can uh, press the auto button and it will adapt to the lighting in the room. And it's got a temperature thing, uh, which you can have sort of a blue light or a orangey light. And it's got a dimmer switch so you can press and hold and make it dim or press and hold and make it brighter again. And it works really well, it plugged in and works straight away. It was really easy to install and place on the top of my monitor. It looks like it's very adaptable for each monitor, so that's great. I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of good points about, about it, really. There's not much I can say that's bad, except for the price and the fact that I don't really need one. But I am happy to have some free stuff, and I will use it. Uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Yay! It's pretty bright. I mean, it's a bright day today. And I tend to film in the day because I haven't got very good lights and stuff. And you can see the effect it's having. Uh, so it's pretty good. I like it. I think it's I think it's Ben Q. I did actually look it up and there was lots of people saying Benk. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's Ben Q. Pretty sure. I don't know. Thanks, Ben Q. There's there's not a lot more to say really. It's it's a lamp. And it's nice. It's a good box, it's a cool box as well. Well packaged. They sent it, it came really quick actually. It came the next day, they said they were gonna send it to me and it came the next day. That's quite nice. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, just as another note, if you uh, want to send me free stuff and you're in the free stuff market, you've got lots of free stuff sitting around that you don't know what to do with, send me the free stuff. I'm in the market for free stuff. Love a bit of free kit. I'd really like some expensive free kit, really. So uh, if you've got any expensive stuff, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. I know I've only got a few subscribers, but I think I'm well worth it. You can count on me, except I'll give an honest review. So if it's rubbish, then I'll say it's rubbish. But, you know, uh, send me your free stuff. That's all I'm saying. Send me some free stuff. So yeah, link's in the description. Thanks for watching.